New developments and a story we've been following for months. Almost 90 feet of debris has been removed from a huge trash pile in Okatee. It is the end of weeks of work by local, state, and federal authorities. As News 3's Andrew Davis tells us tonight, the pile is gone, but the controversy surrounding it may not be over. The giant debris pile here in Ogatee is no more. You can see empty behind me 115,000 pounds of debris plus pulled from the site. The pile, which was once nearly 90 feet high, is now gone. The dangers to the residents in the area who are dealing with particulate and chemical levels exceeding health standards in the smoke pouring from that burning debris, DHEC say, is not an issue anymore. The tests on the watershed where runoff from firefighting efforts will continue. The cost, $4.5 million to do the work, money that DHEC is now looking for legal ways to try and get back. Inside that burning pile, DHEC says the only dangerous things found were these tanks, which once held propane or fire extinguishing chemicals, but were not considered to be a contributing factor in the fire, according to experts. It's likely that the fire was caused by um, the heat generated from decomposition and the size of the pile and, and the weight of the material bearing down on, on that material. The belief was the decomposition caused the fire, not illegal materials in any form. Yeah, that's correct. I just finished talking to the owner of Able Contracting and the owner of this site, Chandler Lloyd, who says before DHEC ever came in, before the controversy started, he spent $345,000 of his own money to try to put out those fires. He says he would have hoped that the EPA and DHEC would have worked with him more instead of just shutting him down from there. His next step, still unknown, he is looking into legal action. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3.